Hey guys, welcome back to part number 12 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations. So can we just please take a minute, and this is probably going to be the longest intro of my life, um, to talk about the previous part. I have never in my life had so much feedback, so many freaking comments, so many views on one video at one time, ever. That video is like, that part, I guess, is just so controversial. This whole situation is like a freaking soap opera. Um, also, you know, check out my Facebook. I did post a uh, little, like, kind of like a caption of Connor's thoughts on what he's kind of dealing with right now. And I love doing that from time to time just to kind of give our characters a little more, a little more depth in mission or depth, I guess, personality. Sure. Anyways. Right now, he's just in utter disbelief that the person that he loves, the person he cares about the absolute most in the whole entire world, besides his children, betrayed him in such a way. Like, he even kind of blames himself because he's like, well, what if I let her work? What if I was didn't have such a death grip on her? What if I wasn't so controlling? You know, like all these what ifs. And it's really not his fault do you know what I mean but basically he's second guessing himself almost putting the blame on himself because it's so much easier for him to understand than her cheating on him you know so what he's thinking of doing is he doesn't know <laughs> he doesn't know what to do if he should kick her out with Amelia or you know where where is she gonna go you know like she doesn't have a job she doesn't have a house she doesn't have anything and Nick Ravini Nick Ravini wants her he wants her in his life for forever um and I really don't think Amelia's a a vampire but of course I want to find out so I don't know what's gonna happen I wish I did I really don't know I I really just don't know I kind of want to play it as it comes we have five days to kind of see whether this betrayal can be forgiven or if it's just ruined forever and essentially what that means after the five days an annotation will pop up around here saying you know um, Sherry has convinced Connor that the relationship will work out or Connor you know can't I don't know can't deal with it or something and he he is no longer romantic with her whatever the situation is so I guess what I'm trying to say is we could just write this out for five more parts and kind of see what happens let them kind of decide on their own versus me because I really can't tell you guys but we'll we'll play it as it goes um so that means Connor is gonna obviously get this room and Amelia May and Sherry will get this room so we're gonna probably have to buy her a um a crib of some sort here and then we have to obviously age up Blake into a teenager just so many things are going on in this in this part and oh my gosh look at the new look at the new crib that comes with um freaking into the future are you serious this is like amazing and my cat is sounds like a freaking elephant Ele ele elephant elephant elefante I don't know what he's doing He's being crazy, but yeah, sure. We uh, we made it like this. Um, so technically, you know, they aren't divorced or anything. They're still married, I guess, but they're kind of like separated. I, you know, I don't want to do a divorce in front of the kids because that's just sad. But we're 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 seeing where this could go because he can't kick her out. He just can't right now. So that's pretty much where we're at. We're just gonna play and we're gonna go with it. Okay. So five minutes later, <laughs> um, I'm actually going to have her go ahead and uh, put Amelia May in the crib. Connor, what are you doing? He's just sitting here, standing here. He's actually going to go ahead and make the bed. I um, think he needs to go out with a drink or go out and have a drink with his buddy um, and kind of just discuss things, you know. I don't know. I really don't know what to say. Like, I've never been at a loss for words. I've never been at a loss for words except for now. Oh my god. And I don't even know how Nick's gonna see the baby because like um you know, I mean obviously Connor's not gonna allow him to step foot into the house, but anyways, we're gonna have Sherry kinda get into her hair every day where um she is just a little a little on the, the heavier side, probably gonna let her work out and get her her body back, but she's gonna have to do it at home because Connor's not watching her love child and he's not going to really um be a part of it so Blake right now he's watching some TV thank God the kids are totally oblivious to what's going on minus the fact that they got robbed speaking of robbery should we please just buy a freaking like burglar alarm I mean oh we don't have money <gasps> oh we don't have money oh my god what are we gonna do ah uh, 
She needs to get a freaking job. Um, $895 freaking dollars. Are you serious? We ain't got that kind of cash. <laughs> like my mama says, do I look like Rockefeller? No. All right, so we are going to actually put that or sell that. We have computers. We need to put those back. We honestly don't need like 45 freaking computers, so we're going to... We're gonna sell one of them, and I think we'll just leave the rest of this stuff kind of, kind of free ball in, and we should be pretty much good to go. Um, what is Blake doing, or what is Connor doing? Rather, I just call him Blake. Okay, cool. So we need to have a, like a birthday celebration. Um, <laughs> uh, we're probably gonna invite everybody. I don't know. We're gonna maybe do this solo dello for this time because there's just too much drama and I can honestly see Sherry and everybody fighting and I just don't want to deal with it. So um, we're gonna actually go over here and I guess go back into buy mode once more, yeah? And get that birthday cake. I don't know what to get Blake for his birthday. I can't believe he's going to be a teenager. Um, but we need to figure out something. Let's go ahead and see. We could buy him a car, right? <laughs> if we had the money, I would totally do that. What could he use? Like, really, what could a kid of his age, electronics, obviously. Do we have any video game systems? I don't think so. So maybe we should just buy him like a video game station or something to play with. I think that would be fun. Let me see, where would I find this? Uh, we'll just get him the uh, cheapest one possible, which is seven hundred and fifty freaking dollars. We're going to let. Um, can we put this in our inventory? No, we actually have to put this back in to our thing here. Okay. <clears throat> ah. Anyways. Oh, actually, Sherry was invited to one of Reed's. Are you freaking joking me? Are you joking me? Are you joking me, bro? First and foremost, you guys like have some sort of. Oh. Some sort of like fallout. They're like dance, slow dancing in the middle of our like little ceremony, okay? And Connor is just not doing this. Look at him. He is so pissed. He's like, screw this hooker. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, she wants to have a baby with him? How Please. sick in the freaking oh, head are you? So. God. Uh, oh no. <gasps> oh my goodness. You still want to have that baby? <laughs> She just freaking slapped him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think this relationship is pretty much over. How could you do that? He's a freaking weirdo. He looks like a llama and his freaking armpit hairs is longer than yours. She didn't like that. She did not like that. Uh 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 uh. Poor Blake. Oh my god, I feel so sad. Anyways, happy birthday to you. Your mama is a hooker. Okay, so let's go and have this birthday celebration. <laughs> or lack thereof. Poor freaking Connor. He is so freaking pissed off at this. Oh my gosh. Mock divas. Dude, they are like fighting something fierce right now. This would have never happened if you would have let me do my own thing and be independent. <gasps> Oh no! Rumors are spreading around town that Sherry Springston had a child out of wedlock. Yep, girl. It's a true freaking story. But let's focus on the real thing here. Happy birthday, Blake! God, so much drama. So in these next five days are gonna be hell. <laughs> hell, I tell you. They're together, remember, but they're not like official. I mean. I don't know. I guess they kind of are. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, so we're going to actually have him just age up. And we're going to let Connor give him his present. Probably going to have to update his appearance. Um, and I think, I don't know. I don't know what I think. But let's just go ahead and uh, speed on through here. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and actually take you guys into Create a Sim, but unfortunately, due to his indifferent study habits, he actually de developed a sailor trait, which isn't too bad. Um, but his outfit is just looking all sorts of cray, and he's definitely taking after um, his father's physique. But we're going to go ahead and actually edit him in Create a Sim really fast. 
Alrighty, so here's Mr. Blake, and he looks a lot like Connor and a lot like Sherry. I think he's almost the perfect blend of the two, but you can totally see that he definitely takes after his father's physique, and Sherry's too. They're not, they're, neither of them are fat, but they both have kind of like thicker, I guess, bone structures or whatever. So, you know, he also took after their genetics, which isn't a bad thing. Good thing that this family is very athletic and they love sports, so they can keep their physiques in extra tip-top shape. He looks amazing. I really am excited to see that he's aged up. And you know what? He actually has Sherry's, I think, mother's hair. I think I already told you guys that, but yeah. Um, all right, we're going to let them go ahead and... What? Dude, you are not doing this in front of the children. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely fucking horrible. I mean, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been slipping so much lately. Like, this relationship is clearly over. <sighs> but let's just smile and eat a, eat a little slice of cake, shall we? Like, nothing has gone wrong here. Like, both of them are extremely <laughs> upset, but we're, we're trying to put on a good face. Um, and I think all the homework should be done. Oh no, Austin actually needs to do his homework today, like ASAP. Um, it is Friday, so I guess he doesn't really have to worry about it. Uh, so we'll definitely have him do it tomorrow morning. Amelia is enjoying music, and she's just chilling and feeling probably like an outcast, but thankfully she's a baby, and she doesn't really, like, get that yet. Um, I'm really interested in seeing how this next five days is going to go because I really, <laughs> my things are taken off. Everyone's really upset. Um, he's going to experience, what is he going to experience? Um, I don't know. She still wants to have this baby with Connor. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll check it just to check it, you know? I don't know. I really don't know what can happen at this point, but, um, what is he gonna go do? He wants to sleep until fully rested. Well, he needs to get his little gift, so let's put away the leftovers, um, and we'll also go ahead and, uh, clean out the bad food. We might need to have to sell something here because our funds are practically nothing at this point, and we, well, do we have more bills? Oh, no, we have, we have, um, some mail. All right, well... Of course, Sherry's not going to pick up Connor's dish, but we are going to go ahead and uh, we are going to, let's see, give birthday congratulations. Okay. And then we're also going to go ahead and see if we can give him a gift. And we are going to give him the Exo Edge gaming system. And what is she doing? She's going to go play the guitar. No, you are not. Um, he is sleeping. And Amelia should be, she's a little hungry and needs some social. All right, so let's go upstairs and have her um, go ahead and actually, what is going on? Our, oh, our university mascot's here? Why? He's a kid. He's not an adult. It's kind of weird. Uh, we definitely need to make sure that Blake uh, learns as much as possible so he can be super, super duper smart and get a really good job when he's older. Um, but we're going to go ahead and actually give her a bottle and play with her and see snuggle with her a lot of you have actually wanted me to have um sherry move out and leave amelia with connor now in the real world that would not fly i don't think i mean as much as i would love to see amelia grow up if things don't work out um at the exact same time like connor doesn't want nick's kid i mean no offense or anything you know he definitely does not want to take care of amelia um, he's gonna have enough on his hands with a teenager and a, a kid, so that's just not gonna happen. Um, if she leaves, she's leaving with Amelia. She's gonna leave the same way she came. So we could definitely need to work on our relationship too. Like we're not even friends. I don't really think. Um, we're friends, but that's about it. Oh, is he excited about his game? Oh, cool. All right, so we're gonna have him announce his birthday. We're gonna talk about the burglary, and we're gonna give Dad a big fat old high five for our. Can we give him a high five? I don't think we can. Can we? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we're gonna hug him. Sure, that's even better. Let's see. Can we go ahead and? Uh, can we? Um. Let's see. I was going to see if we can cry on his shoulder, but we're not obviously going to. We're not going to talk about anything that happened today. That's just embarrassing. Um, but we are going to have him go ahead and go to sleep in um, 
in his bed, I suppose. Sherry, on the other hand, I have no idea what she's doing. She's just staring at the freaking baby. But um, we're going to have Connor go ahead and probably also go to sleep bright and early because he does need to work tomorrow. Sherry, on the other hand, probably needs to get a job um, at this point, I would say. Connor's going to let her stay, but he's certainly not going to, like, let her mooch off with him. You know what I mean? So what we're going to do is have Sherry go ahead and go to the banyo. And we're going to let Connor also go to sleep. And then whenever somebody wakes up, we will pick up from there. Okay, so Connor is actually the first one up. Go figure. And he's just enjoying himself some refix. And then I think we're going to have him go over to the gym um, just for a little bit to kind of work off this weight. I would definitely say Thanksgiving did him wonders because he totally gained back everything he lost. But um, I'm not really like too worried about it. I think Austin is also up. He is reading a book. He wants a dollhouse or he wants to actually play with a toy. Um, Blake is currently uh, still sleeping and Sherry is as well. Amelia actually needs to get up and... Um, have a little social in her life as well as probably another bottle. So Connor's just going and kind of cleaning up around a little bit. All right, and then we'll have him go ahead and actually head on over to the Buff Inn Tuned. Um, and then that way he can just kind of like have some time for himself and, you know, I guess just kind of get away from it all. Um, he does work in about seven hours. So after that, if he's not too tired, we'll probably have him go ahead and um, go hang out with Dustin, I think it is. Derek, actually. And maybe have a beer or something just to kind of, you know, get away from it all. So, here he is, hopping in his little truck. Um, it's actually a really, really rainy day. And we're one more um, day away from winter, which is exciting. I cannot wait to see what it looks like in etc. Um, and if I'm talking a little weird, like when they were sleeping or whatever, I took like a quick minute break from filming and um i don't know what happened but somehow like my ear is like clogged and like it feels so weird Ugh. i don't know what happened like i just started feeling weird now it's like i don't know it's just strange so i'm a little i'm a little dazed <laughs> and confused anyways he's gonna go ahead and uh not break a sweat by pumping pumping some iron and he just can't get over the fact that cherry cheated on him so i honestly have no idea if they're gonna be able to work past this or it's going to be a serious problem honestly i could not even begin to tell you guys but i know one thing is for sure we're gonna actually have sherry go ahead and uh, wake up and or she's actually already done um and we're gonna have her actually just spend a little a little time with amelia we're gonna give her her bottle snuggle her and of course play with her and then after that we'll have her go ahead and make her bed and we're probably going to have her Ooh, it is so weird outside right now Look at it. It's like foggy, but the sky is kind of purpley. It's really weird. Um, but we're probably going to have her like call Nick and stuff and just chat with him and, and things just to see kind of what he's been up to. Okay. And of course, Blake's being a typical teenager and he's still freaking sleeping. <laughs> but once he gets up, maybe he would like to go work out. He actually wants to uh, go ahead and do a cardio workout. So maybe he'll meet up with dad or something. Um, I'll have him actually go visit the buff and toned as well. He does kind of need to eat something and um, uh, take a shower and stuff. But we'll at least, at the very least, um, let him use the bathroom. And go ahead and grab a quick bite from the refrigerator. Uh, let's see. We'll do juice. And he actually wants to skip school, which is kind of strange. Because, I mean, like, he's not even experienced high school for a full day and he already wants to quit. But that's okay. Um, okay. I think everyone's pretty much good. We're going to go ahead and just jump right back to Connor for a quick second. And he's just, just chilling. Let's see who else is around here. We have... Who are you? She Nikki, Nikki Mendez. Interesting. Who's this girl, though? Nikki Mendez. We have Ginger Gotez. I don't know. She looks a little different. Is she pregnant? I think she is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's she's doing the waddle. How cute. It's been a while since I've seen, like, a Townsend actually pregnant, but 
Where does she get this outfit from? Oh, I think it's a custom content outfit. It's a little interesting. All right. Oh, what's this? Um, it says you've become pumped. Feel the energy coursing through your muscular veins and get ready to reap the benefits of this athletic lifestyle. Whoa, what's under Blake's skin? Oh, he's feeling a little emotional today. That is for sure. Um, I wonder what she's doing. She's actually talking to Nick right now. And she wants to woohoo with Nick. Oh my god. <laughs> Mm, I don't know, you guys. Part of me just wants to, like, punch her in the face, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and see if Nick's home. I think he might be. But he doesn't live there. He lives in the slums. All right, she's actually going to take Amelia, and we are going to go visit Nick. Let him see his daughter for the first time. We're going to give this a go and uh, kind of see how he reacts. I really don't know what's going to happen. Between Connor and Sherry, like, I'm kind of worried um, she looks so sad. Oh, she lost a friend. Who was her friend? I don't know. Look at her little face. She looks like she just wants to freaking cry, and she probably does. Like, a part of her wishes things would work out between her and Connor, but an other part of her knows that's probably not. Oh, how cute. They're, like, spending some time together, but of course, they're fighting probably over what to watch. He's like, I want to watch the game. And he's like, dude, I probably would much rather watch cartoons right now. But nevertheless, we're going to have uh, Blake go ahead and go get himself a quick workout in. I think Connor is almost done here. I'm not 100% sure. He's actually really, 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 really buff looking. Um, but he still kind of has that extra flab. So work is coming up with a quickness. Uh, so we're probably going to just have him kind of you know, straighten himself up a little bit by going in and using the bathroom and taking a quick shower to feel more refreshed. Um, oh my gosh, he looks so freaking muscular. <laughs> we definitely need to have him do a cardio workout um, when we get a minute, but let's go ahead and uh, see what Sherry's up to. We have baby in hand and we're visiting him at his humble abode. More like a bachelor pad, but I think he should be still single. Yeah, he is. And I'm pretty positive this is his little baby right here, his little puppy. Okay. I think he actually might be coming downstairs right now. Yep, there he is. All right, let's see if we can actually greet him really quick. Oh, you have access to my residence. Welcome. Okay. All right, can we like go upstairs with him really quick? Oh my God, and they're automatically like being romantic and all that goo goo ga ga eyed crap. So let's see if we can, no, we can't. I really wanna see if he'll um, embrace Amelia at all. So let me see if we can actually put Amelia down here. I don't know, cause this is his kid. I mean, he hasn't actually really ever seen her or done anything with her. So this will be interesting, let's see. All right. <laughs> um, I don't really see him doing anything, but nevertheless, let's go ahead and be romantic, and we're going to give him a kiss. I mean, Sherry still has the hots for him. Obviously, their relationship is on the rocks. Let's see. Confess to watching you while you sleep. Take romantic photo together. Let's see if we can go ahead and do that as well. And Amelia actually cropped her pants right here, right now, so we definitely need to uh, have her diaper changed real fast, and Sherry... She's right up on that, I think. Or she's actually going to go ahead and take her upstairs real quick. So, where's he leaving? He's going somewhere. He has no interest whatsoever. He was like, see you later. Don't care. Um, whatever. All right. Well, let's go ahead and actually just change her dirty diaper really quick. And I think Nick totally is bailing right now. Yeah, he is. He's like just leaving. He doesn't even care. Where is he going? Does he have a car? Oh, he has a really freaking nice car. All right, well, I guess that's about it. I mean, I really don't know what else to say. He didn't seem to care very much, and of course, she's not very happy about that situation, neither. Um, I guess we're changing her diaper again? I have no idea. All right, well, I guess we could have her go ahead and head back home. Um, since he kind of just like left us here hanging. So unfortunately that just didn't, that just didn't go the way she had hoped, she had planned. I think she kind of wanted some sort of like 
con confirmation, you know, on Nick, and he's just kind of like, whatever. He's so whatever. Instead of being like, I'll be there for you, you know, let me see my daughter all excited. Like, he's just like, I gotta go. I don't know how I feel about that, but she's gonna head home. I think Blake is actually finally at the gym, and he's just going to go ahead and uh, get himself kind of situated by laying a log in the toilet there. And then when he is all finished with that let's go find ourselves a quick little treadmill here i think there is some upstairs and we'll go ahead and let him run a muck by not breaking a sweat and i think he totally totally <laughs> totally clogged the toilet but um yeah i think with that i'm actually gonna go ahead and wrap up part number 12 here of course like always you can go ahead and leave your suggestions on what you think should happen in the comments down below also don't forget to go ahead and hello comment rate and subscribe and i will see you all in my very next let's play oh uh, learn the martial arts. No, thank you. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.